Hello and welcome to the Cheeky Science Show, where in this video we're going to take a brief introduction to viruses. So whilst the world is talking about one specific virus at the moment, I thought I'd take the opportunity to give just a more generic overview to what actually is a virus. So let's start with the definition. Viruses are sub-microscopic infectious agents that replicate only inside the living cells of another organism. Viruses can infect all types of life forms, and so this doesn't just mean animals, they can also infect plants and other microorganisms, including bacteria and archaea. And actually the majority of viruses infect microbes. So how many viruses actually are there? Well, viruses are the most abundant biological entities on the planet. But what about an actual value? Well, one I could find was 10 to the power of 31, more than I had space to write out. So that is an absolutely huge number, and to put it into some kind of perspective, that means that there are 10 million times more viruses than there are stars in the universe. So now we've established that viruses are pretty much about everywhere. What actually makes a virus? Well, viruses contain certain components. They contain genetic material, and so this can be found in either DNA or RNA form. Viruses also have a protein coat, very cosy, and some but not all viruses have an outside envelope of lipids. So viruses really are the bare minimum, and that's even reflected in their genetic material that literally only encodes for the proteins required for the virus to act, and the protein coat protects the virus, and it's otherwise known as a capsid. So when a virus is not inside an infected cell, or in the process of infecting a cell, viruses exist in the form of independent particles, often referred to as virions. So whilst all viruses share these core characteristics, they are hugely diverse, and for one example, they come in a variety of shapes. So one that I've drawn out here is a complex shape, and that's a bacteriophage. But there are also lots of other different shapes, such as icosahedral shapes, such as the adenovirus, rod-shaped viruses, such as the tobacco mosaic virus, and also spherical-shaped viruses, such as the influenza virus. And the influenza virus is actually an example of a RNA virus. And RNA viruses almost never infect bacteria, but they can infect humans and plants and other organisms. So one of the main questions regarding viruses is, well, how do they spread? And so there's a variety of different mechanisms that viruses can employ, one of which is via vectors, such as transmission between uh, plants, that can be done via insects. Um, there's the typical coughing and sneezing, such as with the influenza virus. There's also fecal oral routes, so that could come through the transmission also by like entering the food and water system and the classic examples are norovirus and rotavirus and lastly there's also the sexually transmitted forms of viruses such as HIV. So the last common question regarding viruses is are they actually living? So many people will argue either case but if we consider that viruses carry genetic material they can reproduce and they can evolve through natural selection they do have many characteristics of living organisms and so I think the best way to think of it is as I heard someone describe viruses or organisms at the edge of life. So hopefully this has provided you with a brief intro to viruses and as always thanks for listening.